this is a guillotine paper trimmer which I have been using for uh, 7 plus years. Yes, you heard me right. I have been using this for 7 plus years. Uh, this is from Canary. I will try to uh, share the link of all these uh, trimmers in the description box so that you can buy them. So this is a very, very heavy. This is like complete metal, heavy metal uh, paper trimmer. Uh, the size of this paper trimmer is uh, like I can't even show you the sizes because in the seven years I have used it so badly. So poor little trimmer. I have used it so 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 roughly that you can't even see the marks. So uh, when I got this paper trimmer it just had the measurements in centimeters. There were no inches marking. So and of course it had this A3 uh, sorry, um, A5, A6 margins and all those stuff which um, has faded out over the time but it's absolutely fine because I use, I hardly use these marks because I have my own custom sizes of tabs and cards and uh, scrapbook pages so I have to go with those measurements. So yeah, when I got this trimmer there was this only centimeter marking so manually I think 3-4 years back I had done this inches marking because broadly I work on uh, one inch two inch marking so yeah I did this inches marking and this is pretty decent this is working out for me now what is guillotine paper trimmer is a trimmer which has this kind of handle uh, which um, just you need to pull it up put your paper and down so yeah this is like quite big this is quite heavy but a very 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 good one like for a crafter like me whom like if I'm making if I'm doing a tag order I do at least uh, 100, 200, 300 gift tags so cutting all those and I use a very high quality uh, cardstock I use uh, like 220, 250 at times 300 GSM and I even use this paper trimmer for cutting my thick cardboards yes you heard me right I use this for cutting my thick cardboard pieces also which we use for covers and this just cuts everything like butter now uh, with the guillotine this particular paper trimmer there is no need to sharp anything change the grade or anything these are like one of the most best to buy for the prices it has like one of the best trimmers if you are a person who does a lot of paper crafting who needs to do a lot of paper cutting cardstock cutting so this is one of the best paper trimmers which you should have now because of this uh, process of cutting work you don't have to uh, sharpen the edges or anything because over the time the more you use it the more the blades get sharp and um, it gets so sharp that one about like one or twice I have even cut my fingers uh, so yeah it is that 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 strong and trust me in these uh, seven years I have never ever sharp its blade or done anything to this trimmer I have been using this for like as it is touch wood so yeah this is one of the best trimmers where you can buy of course I will share the link down in the description box you can check that so now this trimmer works out perfectly for me for doing all my like uh, cardboard cuttings for my 300 GSM cardstocks cutting and everything now let me just show you a very quick uh, way of using this um, paper trimmer. Now here what I have is a 280 GSM cardstock. Now this is a very very thick black color cardstock. Now this edge is not sharp. So if I need to trim this down, I'll just keep my paper, pull it around like the margin where I have to cut and I'm going to cut this and this is so so sharp and so so nice so this was super easy likewise if i have to cut this on the other side i will just ta-da it's done now here is one more trip whenever you are using a thin size of paper many a times the cut does not come out really well so what you can do is take up your paper put it from wherever the margins you want to cut keep a scale because this does not have a flap which I'll show you in the other trimmer then you will understand what I'm talking about so you just need to keep a scale hold it you don't have to press it too much just hold it from the bottom part and start cutting it so even with your thinner paper it is going to cut in a very 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 straight line and yeah this is one of the best 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 paper trimmers what I have 
Now on the back side there is this uh, rubber grip to uh, make it like more sturdy when you are working on different surfaces so yeah this does not allows it to move at all uh, of course when i'm working on my table mat so it becomes a little difficult for me why because uh, like i mentioned i use heavy cardboard cutting work so that needs a lot of pressure so only on the car, uh, craft mats it becomes a little uh, messy for me because even my table height is also a little higher than the usual crafting table so yeah that's the only issue but that is also because of my table height and the kind of uh, heavy loaded work I do. Otherwise, this is one of the best, best, best trimmers what I have. So yeah, I have been using this for almost 7 years. As it is, it is there. I have not done anything to it. No maintenance, nothing. Zero maintenance. And I think I um, uh, got this for, uh, at that time, I had got this for uh, 800 or something, which was a huge amount for me at that point of time because I had just started doing my crafting journey so yeah but then this was one of the best best uh, supplies what i have bought till date